Welcome to Group 3's Digital Library Proposal, presented by Juan Denzer, Carrie Blayback Myers, and Lori Needell. The following presentation will discuss the tool and CMS that was used to implement the digital library, the targeted audience, and the actual collection. It will be followed by a walkthrough of the actual implementation of the digital library and its site. The digital library was created using Omeka. Omeka is an open source content management system used for digital collections and digital libraries. Omeka can be either hosted or self-hosted. A hosted site would mean that it would be managed by either Omeka.net or another private hosting site which would maintain backups, the servers that it resides on, and any plugins that would be needed to be added. All maintenance as far as adding to the collection, administers, and the metadata will be done through the library and not through the ones hosting a site. A self-hosted site would require, in addition to managing the metadata, adding to the libraries, it would also include maintaining the backups, the servers, and would give you more control with adding plugins. If you use Omeka.net, you are limited in the number of plugins you can add. Plus, Omeka.net for its hosting is fairly expensive compared to other hosting sites that host websites. A self-hosted site would be preferred because you would have unlimited data access and you could manage your site and add as many plugins as you want. The drawback to the self-hosted is it would require IT maintenance to maintain the actual site. For our demonstration we chose Omeka.net the free version which gives us 500 megabytes of disk space which was very limited and only allowed us to briefly add a few items into our collection. Next, the targeted audience. This collection targets both young and old, scholars and enthusiasts. Basically, the audience would be very broad. The collection. The collection consists of stereo cards. Stereo cards, along with the stereoscopic viewer, are an early 3D viewing system. It's similar to the GAF, GAF viewer, but about a century earlier. They are popular collectibles, especially among collectors of the visual arts. Stereo views are an important part of our visual heritage. The cards are cardboard and subject to warping and wear. Digitizing and preserving these images for the public, earlier photographs and alternative photograph techniques is important. Stereo views were an early form of mass entertainment and they retain their charm. This collection is a private collection. It is a private collection of Matthew Slangers, which consists of over a hundred stereo view cards. And his collection is growing as he acquires more. Next, we will talk about the actual walkthrough of the site. The following 
digital library features stereo view cards. The original cards depicting 19th and 20th century scenes are double sets of paper prints mounted on cardstock, which historically were viewed through the stereoscope, which assists the viewer by producing a three-dimensional image. The following Omeka site uses 30 images curated for this collection to show the breadth of this medium with only slight overlap in topics which were carefully tagged for user convenience. Since we're using Omeka as the CMS and web publishing software, it was the perfect catalyst for our display. Its well-organized file style input mechanism made it as easy to upload images and add textual content as it did to edit and delete content. Further, it's intuitive for the user who can easily enter the browser, browse the content with only a few clicks and without any previously known vocabulary. At the top of the landing page, shown here, there are two main options, browse items and browse by publisher. By clicking on either of these options, three pages will load. Browse items will pull up a total list of items in alphabetical order by title, 10 per page. If we go back to Browse Publisher, it will bring up a total list of images in alphabetical order by publisher's last name, 10 per page. If we go back to the landing page, in Omeka, there are three basic ways to navigate the site. From the landing page, a user can decide to browse all, browse by tag, or perform, or perform a keyword search. Here an example of a keyword search. I search for lake, and I get two retrieved items. Going back to the main landing page, you can view all items by clicking on the View All Items tab, and you will see all 30 items. The layout or theme of this particular Omeka digital library is called Rhythm. With this theme, it displays each stereo card image in a list with margins on the left, giving an orderly organized appearance with one image and description along with appropriate tags for each. This can be customized by choosing s different themes that are available or you can create your own theme. In the interest of time on this project, we chose a ready-made theme rather than trying to create a, a new theme and uploading it. If we go into the collection, if we click on browse items, you can see here that we can browse all, browse by tag, or even search items. By clicking on browse by tags, a user may decide to navigate the site through the use of tags. By clicking the browse by tag, not only will the entire list of tag terms show, each tag item in a bubble shape size to the number of the times the term was tagged. You can see the ex this express terms stereo card and stereo view for instance in which is a term tagged in each item to create cohesiveness in the collection. 19th century photographer Matthew Slangter stereoscopic card collection and 19th century life were used in the same way. As you can see the more items that it's tagged with the bigger it is. The fact that Omeka relies on double core as a metadata standard means that our collections made public are highly discoverable for a great majority of users. Finally, we made our images public and stated our commitment by licensing our website under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial 4.0 International License in support of the principles behind Creative Commons philosophies and a gratitude for the assistance we received from Omeka's open source softwares, which can be viewed at the bottom of each of the digital library's web page. Thank you for taking a tour of our stereoscopic digital library collection. Please visit our digital library site at lis563.omeka.net. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact us via email. Thank you.